Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're finally going to be doing some redstone and I'm really excited about it. The plan here right at the beginning is I want to put two farms in this base. The two farms I want to put are a pumpkin farm under the ground here and a melon farm under the ground here. And I made them both right before I stopped playing on the other part of the world and moved to this part of the world. And it's going to be the same exact farms. So the main thing is I have to collect all the resources. I have basically none of them. I have maybe enough cobblestone. Mm, no, I definitely don't. I need a lot more cobblestone, which I just upgraded my pickaxe. So that shouldn't be too bad to get. And I also need a whole bunch of nether quartz for the observers. I have the wood and the iron for the pistons. But... I need to go collect some resources so that I can actually make these farms because right now I'm just missing a lot of the main components for the farm. I'm just coming back up from the mines now from getting the cobblestone and I also got a whole bunch of copper which is pretty cool. I'll be using that later at some point. I don't know what I'm going to use copper for yet but I really want to use it. So I got all the cobblestone I needed and that was really easy with my new pickaxe that's much better. And next is nether quartz, which means going back into the nether. And I did go into the nether once since the last time I showed you. And four ghasts spawned instantly. And that was pretty interesting. I thought I was going to get stuck in there. Luckily, I didn't. But hopefully that doesn't happen this time. So I'm going to just go into the nether, collect a whole bunch of quartz, and hopefully not die. I got to the nether and it's looking much safer this time than the last time I was here, so that's really good. And there are a couple iron golems here, which just killed a skeleton for me, and that was pretty nice. But let me clear up all this fire from the last time I came in here, and now I'm on fire. I'm so good at this game. But I went this way last time looking for nether quartz, um, if you remember. And this time I want to go this way just to see what else is in this area of the nether. Eventually I want to put this nether portal on the roof and then break through the bedrock just like I did in the last place and then I can connect this base to the last base and I want to talk a little bit about the rest of this series so I've kind of been getting kitted for the last few episodes and I'm getting to the point where I'm going to go to the end and get an elytra soon but I do want to fight the ender dragon so there's one more step for me to fight the ender dragon and I have to get some gas tears to properly fight it or respawn it and then fight it so I want to do that and then once I do beat the ender dragon, I am going to use my ender ender that I've already built because it's the best early game XP farm and I don't want to have to rebuild another one when there's one right there in the end. So I'm not going to rebuild that. And another thing that I'm not going to be rebuilding is my shulker farm because it was a pain to build at the spawn island and that's where the shulkers go initially. So I couldn't imagine trying to move one of those shulkers 30,000 blocks away from spawn. I'm just not going to do that. So those are a couple farms that I'm going to be using for my previous series once I get to that step. But I'm not going to be using them right away. Like I'll get shulker boxes when I go and get the elytra and I'll use those until I use all those up. And then I'll go get a whole bunch more shulker boxes from that farm. But I'm not going to be just using those right off the bat because they're a little overpowered when I have that many of them that quickly. But I'm going to get to mining all this nether quartz and I'll come back once I have all the resources for the farm. After an interesting trip to the nether where I did almost die a couple times to the piglins, I made it out and I made the entire pumpkin and melon farm and here it is. It's ready to go. Just kidding. I actually have all the stuff to make the farm in here, and it's going to be much bigger than that. All the stuff is right in this chest, and I have all the observers and pistons, the redstone, I have all the rails. This is like all the redstone I have. I don't think I have any more after this, but I have all the redstone components I need, and I'm just trying to get seeds. That's what those small farms are out front. But I have everything, so I'm going to start building up these farms, and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to build them into the ground here. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is going to, this is going to be the one farm, and then the other farm is going to be right over here, and it should be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 9 this way, so they should both fit, I made sure the house was big enough when I built it so that they would fit, and now I'm just going to get working on those farms because the holes are mostly already dug out because it's just the areas underneath my house that I just left completely empty. And I actually did light these up in the other episode because there was just a ton of mobs down here. I just didn't show that on camera. I'm going to get right to building the farms and I'll show you guys what they look like once I am done with them. 
I completed both the farms and they are both working now. I bone mealed all the crops so they're actually growing and I think that they look pretty awesome down here with the glass. Hopefully, I cannot wait for Optifine to come out for 120. This is so annoying because even in the nether there's all the fog and stuff and I just it I cannot really play like that anymore. But I got them done. I think they look pretty good even with the glass like this, but they should look even better once the glass is fixed. I just use spruce down there just to give it kind of like a abyss feeling where it gets darker and then the whole farm. And then the redstone lights up when one of the plants grows, which is pretty cool. And I have a little collection area right down here. And there's just two chests, one for pumpkins, one for melons, and I know they're orientated weird, but it's just how it happened. And I'm not really going to fix it because it's just an area to collect pumpkins and melons and I'm not really going to be down here very much, just every once in a while. The next thing that I want to do in this episode is get on the nether roof and break through the bedrock so that I can have access to the nether roof to build things up there and also have access to the regular nether to collect blocks or to find another fortress. I still haven't done that, so I need to be able to get down there but I also want to have my portal on the roof so that I can eventually make my way back to my other base, and it's just much better for making a portal network around here if I'm on the nether roof. So the way to get on the nether roof and break bedrock is actually pretty simple. None of it's too complicated. To get on the nether roof, you just find a bedrock at Y level 127, and look at this. I need to get rid of this guy real quick. There we go. I got a gas here, which is huge for me fighting the dragon, because I do want to fight the dragon just like a regular world, but I have to respawn it. And I just realized I forgot one small thing, which is a flint and steel, so I'm going to go get that really quick. Okay, I got my flint and steel, and I'm back in the nether, and I would recommend always bringing a flint and steel when you go into the nether, because you never know when uh, gas is going to blow up your portal, but it's especially important when you're going to the nether roof because you have to make a portal up there once you get up there and the best way to get up to the roof is just to mine up there and I want to find a piece of bedrock at Y level 127 which is the highest they can spawn so that means that it's just one block thick there and that's really important because having it more than one block thick makes it impossible to get up there through an ender pearl but if it's just one block th thick you don't have to worry about uh, getting stuck in the bedrock and dying and I can just worry about getting up there and all these are at 126 I'm getting pretty unlucky right now uh, I'm gonna find one at 127 and I'll come back to you once I do I found a piece of bedrock at Y level 127 and now the next step is to build a ladder up to it so the ladder is important because it puts you as high as possible next to that block because if you're just standing there you're actually a little bit shorter than two blocks so you could end up messing it up but the ladder allows you to get as close as possible and then I'm gonna just make sure I have everything really quick because I don't want to go up there without the stuff I need I have 10 obsidian and a flint and steel that's the most important thing because that means I can get out uh, so you go up to here and you just throw that ender pearl and now you're on the roof of the nether and now I want to mark this block because this is going to be the block I'm breaking to get back down and I don't want to lose that block. The next step is actually to break the bedrock and to do that there's a simple mechanism that just uses two TNT, an obsidian, a trapdoor, and a lever and a piston or two pistons I guess because one faces upward and one faces downward you place the second one really quickly so you place the lever here and then on the block you want to break is where you place the fist piston and you place the piston facing upward then you place TNT on top of the block and on top of the piston and here is the difficult part you have to place a piston here facing downward as soon as you as the TNT explodes it has to be like within the same tick of the game and the best way to do this is to use a macro so I have a macro set up already and just to make sure that it's working I'm gonna use this and it just clicks the right click really quickly which will place blocks or flip a lever whichever and I'm gonna attempt it here hopefully I don't die the last time I did this I did die on the first try because I was using netherrack here and you want to use a very blast resistant block so that it doesn't kill you because there's two TNT here which is plenty to kill you okay here we go I'm gonna get in place you get underneath the trap door that's what the trap door is for and then you flip this lever and then you start spam clicking on this corner right here and that is not good. Uh oh. <laughs>
<laughs> this is going to be fun. I got to get back up there. Not sure what exactly happened. That is the correct way to do it. Don't know what happened. I don't have another ender pearl to get back up there. I got to figure this out. I was looking through my chests just to get kitted a little bit, and I got some iron armor, but I did find another ender pearl. I didn't even realize I had it, but... Oh god, that was so bad. Uh, I really hope my stuff didn't blow up. Oh no, this is, might be really bad. Uh, I guess we'll just get back up there <laughs> and see what happened. I don't know how I died. I thought I was in the right spot and everything. Um, yeah, this this is not looking good right now, guys. The moment of truth, here we go. Oh, my stuff didn't blow up at least. Okay, that's, that's a good thing. That is very good because then I'd just be trapped up here with nothing. Um, okay. What can I do here now? I got my armor back. I got my stuff back. I guess I can try it again. I think it's this block. I really hope it's this block. Uh, I really have no clue what happened there. So I did bring enough stuff for a few attempts at least, which is good. Uh, there. I don't know how I died. Is it stupid to try this again? Am I being stupid right now? I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully I don't die again. <laughs> oh, this might be really stupid. Well, here we go again. Flip the lever. Activate my macro. Placing blocks. And that looks much better. Okay, it actually worked this time, I think. Oh, I didn't break it. No. Okay, well, I guess we got to do it again. Uh, I didn't die this time, at least. That's good. That's a good start. I got four more attempts at this, but yeah, it doesn't work every time, even with the macro. It's a little finicky, but hopefully I get it here. Uh, so I go back into the spot. I want to make sure I'm as close to this obsidian as I can be. I can place the block there, so I flip the lever, turn on my macro. Let's try it again. Okay, it's in the right spot again. Oh my god, what the heck? Why isn't this working? I don't know if they fixed this or something in 120. I really hope they didn't. I'm going to try one more time, and if it doesn't work this time, I might just give up and leave my portal on the regular nether. Or maybe I'll just leave it up here, and I'll have a separate portal somewhere else. I think I'll probably do that. It's just have two separate portals. Uh, let's try this one more time, though. Hopefully it works this time. Got the lever there. Trap door here. And then I place the piston. Okay. Last attempt. Make sure I'm close. Ooh, that one almost killed me. That could have been bad. Ooh, this is actually looking more promising because the piston's facing upward, which I know makes no sense. But, yes! Oh, no, I broke the wrong side. Oh, my gosh. This is... I'm so good at this game. Well, I do have to get more pistons, and I do have to get back up here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll make a portal here. Um, I know that this way isn't the correct way now, so I can make the portal going this way. And then I will <laughs> go and get more pistons and come back and try this again. This is not going well. Okay, I'm back on the nether roof, and I relinked my portal so that I don't have to worry about going through the portal on the ground and then coming up through the bedrock. And now this one's just connected straight to my house, which is great for trying to get up here. And I have a picture on my phone of which block I need to break. I have the coordinates. So let's find it. Uh, it is 3751, negative 205. This one right here. Okay. So let's mark that. 3751, negative 205. Okay. And let's break this portal for now. Because it's in the way. I just need the one block there. Oh my god, I cannot believe that I broke the wrong block. This is... I have two chances at this only. So hopefully I get it. Uh, I don't know how much of this I actually need to break. We'll just go with, like, that. That should be plenty. So this is the one I want to break, and I'm used to doing it this way, so I'm going to do it this way again. Uh, I need block, TNT, TNT, trapdoor, and a lever. Okay. Okay, I'm underneath it. 
and I only have two attempts at this, so I'm just going to do these really quick, and if I don't get it, I'll let you know. If I do get it, I'll let you know. Either way, I think I got it, and here's the moment of truth. Let's go. Okay, I made it through. That's awesome. That's really huge. So, first try, got that done. Now, let's rebuild this portal in the correct location, because I also have the correct location of where this portal is actually supposed to be to link with the one at my house. So, let's redo that. I cannot believe that I missed. Oh, my God. Sometimes, I'm just so good at this game, and other times, I do stuff like that. My portal is now in the right place, which is just a few blocks away from this drop-down area. Now let's see if the portal links properly. I went through the other way and I got back to here, so let's go back through and see. Okay, good. It does work. I'm really happy with the progress I made in this episode. I got a couple farms built, and I'm also on the nether roof now. So I would like to thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.